the governor has assured us that there will be help from the state, but I've got some concerns right now. Jimmy Comer is the co-owner of RBI Services in Hanover County. Our focus is helping small businesses with their needs, uh, whether it's insurance, accounting, uh, HR services. But Comer says his company's future appears out of focus at the moment. So we're like a lot of small businesses. Um, we're not sure what the future looks like. As the number of COVID-19 cases began growing in the Commonwealth, Comer began preparing for the potential economic impacts. He says he's tried to apply for a small business loan through the Virginia Small Business Financing Authority. One of the requirements was that we need to go through counseling. They said there are two counselors in the state. One's up in Northern Virginia, the other's down in Farmville. Comer says his request for help was denied by the Farmville counselor because his business is in Hanover County, not Farmville. He's concerned now because he says there's no counselor in Hanover County or the surrounding areas. Without the counseling, you're not meeting the requirement for the loan, and we're being stonewalled from that loan. It's just getting really tough for small businesses right now. We know that. We hear from them daily. Barry Moore with the Better Business Bureau works with small businesses and says this is a nationwide issue. I mean, it's millions past what they can handle of calls being received. Be patient. Go to your bank, ask your local bank to help you if you cannot get to a counselor. Comer says he is okay with asking his bank for help, but he's worried now about other entrepreneurs. Do I have confidence in it? Yes, but I guess my concern is also I've got so many small business clients. I start losing them because they cannot get access to this money. That's going to be a major problem for us. Now, lawmakers in Washington are working on finalizing a $2 trillion stimulus package that would give small business owners access to federal loans if they agree to pay their workers through the health crisis. Working for you tonight, I'm Matthew Foltz, CBS 6 News.